Hey, it's Tech with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're not getting missed call notification either on the lock screen or on your phone app where the missed calls are not showing up. What can you do to fix this issue? We're going to show you just exactly all the troubleshooting that you need to do in order to fix this problem. So first thing is I like to just put your phone on airplane mode just like that and then turn it off and it does a quick network refresh so if there's any issues with the connectivity of your phone cellular service it will fix it for you the next thing you want to check out in your setting of your iphone is going to your settings general and then you want to look at your date and time and ensure that the date and time here is correct like up top here you can see here the current time and then the date as well now if it's not correct because you move between different time zone you can turn off automatically and set it to the correct time zone and the date and the time as well but it has to match your local time in order for you to get things like a cellular service correctly and being able to receive call correctly by default of course set automatically should work for you but in a case it doesn't go ahead and set it manually now after you have done that the next thing you want to check out on your iPhone again going back to the main setting here and then going into your general and then iPhone storage, you want to ensure that you have enough free storage available. As you can see here, this phone uses uh, 24 gig out of 128 gig. Let's say your phone used up all the storage here. A lot of functionality of your iPhone will start not working correctly. So you want to free up some space by either deleting some uh, videos, photos, apps, documents, whatever it is that's taking up your space. You can review the list here and delete some so you can free up some storage here and hopefully your phone is working. Now, another thing you wanna do after you have done that and still not working is go into your uh, settings again. This time we're gonna go to notification and we're gonna find the phone app here. So here, we'll look down here under the phone app. You wanna verify a couple things here. First thing you wanna verify that allow notification is of course turned on. For some reason, if it's turned off, you're not gonna get any notification for your phone. So turn that on. And then also for lock screen, you want to make sure that is turned on. Notification, you want to make sure and ensure that is turned on. And even for banners, all these should be checked marked off. Now, once they're checked marked off, the next thing you want to check out is banner style. Now, by default, it's temporary, but you can also do persistent in order to make sure that you don't miss any notification as well. So those are a couple things you want to check out on your iPhone. So those are after you check those out, it's time to do the next thing on your iPhone, which is going to be doing a force restart. So in order to do a force restart on your iPhone, it's going to be really simple. Sequence of buttons you have to follow. You have to first press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down. And finally, hold this big side button until the screen goes completely black and you'll keep on holding it until you see the Apple logo appear. At that time, you let go of that button and uh, the phone should boot up normally. So I'll do volume up volume down and then I hold the side button just like that and I wait till the screen goes completely black now where it says slide to power off you don't need to uh, do that because that will be just a normal shutdown we're forcing the phone to completely shut down by holding that button and then once you see the Apple logo we let go of that button and what we have done is again shut down the phone and the software completely and have it reload so if it's a software related issue impacting your phone it will fix that issue for you. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, document, music, whatever it is, still will be on your phone. You're not going to lose any of that data. Now, after you have done that and you still find that missed call notifications aren't showing up, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general, go all the way down here. It says transfer reset iPhone. You'll click on that. And the first option for reset, you'll click on that and we'll want to do a network reset. Now, a network reset takes about a minute or two. Now, what it does is remove any uh, saved Wi-Fi password and any Bluetooth connected devices. It also fixes any connectivity issue that you might be having, especially with the cellular service. So it's safe to do. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, again, will still be safe on your phone, but it's something you'll need to do if you're still having the issue. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing to check in your setting of your iPhone again, this time we're going to go to the actual phone app setting itself. So click on phone here. Now, under the phone here, you want to verify that a couple things here. First thing is if you have this silence unknown callers turned on, some calls that are not recognized by your phone and your contacts or recent calls, 
and Siri Show Assistant will not completely show up. So I recommend is turning this feature off. Although it's a great feature to have, but if you're experiencing that calls aren't coming through or you're not seeing a missed call, turn that setting off. Now the next thing, of course, you also want to check out on your iPhone here is you after you have checked that is to ensure that again your number here is correct if you click on it it should show up your number make sure that number is correct and working on your device as well and then finally the thing to check is a block next thing you want to check out is your block contact list here so here you want to ensure this list to ensure that the number that you're looking to get calls from is in block accidentally so you'll click over here slide to unblock the number or you can click that edit one to do multiple ones but it's important to do that so that again your numbers aren't being blocked because if it's blocked it's just not going to show up so that's it for all the troubleshooting that you'll need to do in terms of the settings and the final and the last thing of course you want to do is update your phone to the latest version so in order to do that you're going to go to settings general software update and see if there's an update available sometimes what happens is previous update have might cause issues with the phone service not to work correctly so go ahead and update your phone when you do update your phone give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes also make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged or connected to a power source and you're sh connected to a good strong wi-fi or cellular data in order to successfully install the update and i hope this video was helpful for you guys to fix the problem of missed call not showing up on your iphone if so, please make that like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix the problem as well, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.